Hey guys, welcome to another incredible tutorial here on our channel. Today, we're going to explore a fundamental aspect of modeling anime characters in Blender, editing normals. If you've ever wondered how to give your models that extra touch, this video is for you. So, without further ado, let's dive into this fascinating universe of normal editing. Firstly, it is essential to understand what normal is. Normals are vectors perpendicular to the surfaces of a 3D model. They play a crucial role in rendering, directly affecting the lighting and shading of the object. In the context of anime models, careful manipulation of these normals can highlight details and bring characters to life in a unique way. Before we begin, make sure you have Blender installed and your anime template project open. If you don't have one yet, feel free to use an example template available online or create your own from scratch. We will need to make some cuts to create a triangle. The cropping tool in Blender is one of the fundamental features for 3D modeling. This tool allows users to efficiently and accurately split, cut, and adjust geometries. It can be accessed by pressing the K key or found in the context menu, right mouse button, during modeling. The cutting tool has different usage modes. It can be used to create free cuts by hand, cut along existing edges or follow specific lines. In free mode, you can draw directly on the surface of the object. Just click on the desired points and press Enter to complete the cut. To cut along existing edges, simply select the desired edge and use the cut tool. This is useful for creating accurate cuts following the topology of the object. While cutting, you can add additional cutting points by clicking where necessary. The tool's behavior can be adjusted through options in the tool panel, such as the option to cut completely through the object. An important advantage of the cropping tool in Blender is the ability to create cuts without destroying the original geometry. This is particularly useful for a non-destructive workflow, allowing for future adjustments and modifications. Select all mark sharp and seam edges. Select the center edges of the face and mark sharp. By marking an edge as sharp, you are indicating to Blender that you want to preserve the sharpness of that edge when calculating normals. This is crucial for objects where some edges must maintain a sharp appearance while others can be softened. Commas Arrestas Silicionatas, Pression Control Plus, E Para Brier O Menuda Edges, Arrestas E Escala Mark Sharp. Alternativamente, Vose Pod Encontrar Esta Opco No Menuda Contexto, Picando Como Obwitao Diarito Do Mouse Over It as Arrestas Silicionatas. Mark the seams too. Marking the seams will help us more easily select the areas where we will later edit the normal separately. Also cut around the drawn triangle. This will ensure you have a perfect shadow. An observation to be made is that with a surface subdivisor the marked edges may be crooked. It will be necessary to set the mean crease value to the maximum. Mean crease in Blender is a property associated with edges that is often used in conjunction with the surface subdivision modifier. It plays a crucial role in controlling the smoothing of the edges of a 3D model. Here are some reasons why mean crease is important in Blender. In summary, Mean Crease is a valuable tool for controlling the smoothing of edges in 3D models in Blender. By using it effectively, you can achieve accurate visual results and maintain control over your model's aesthetics, whether in hard surface or organic modeling environments. For the next step, you need to install the Abnormal app. You can find the add and download here in the video description. Download the add in a Blender compatible format, usually zip. In the top right corner of the screen, click Edit and select Preferences from the drop-down menu. In Preferences, click the Add-ons tab in the left sidebar. Click the Install button in the upper right corner of the Preferences window. Navigate to the location where you downloaded the add-in zip file and select it. After installation, you will see the add-in listed in the Preferences window. Make sure to check the box next to the name to activate it. Click the Save Preferences button to ensure the add-in is activated every time you launch Blender. The next step now is to use the abnormal add-in to edit the normals in a simpler way and at the same time achieve the quality shown at the beginning of this video. Before opening the add-in, let's select all the areas marked with stitching, as we will do the spherical editing first. Follow the steps shown in this video. The first is to turn all the normals outwards. In the second, it is to edit in the form of a sphere. Do not change any value and confirm to exit the add-in interface and apply the edit. Now select the areas as shown in the video. 
Open the add-in interface again. Check the box corresponding to the x-axis so that edits made on the right side are mirrored on the right side. When aligning, let's align on the y-axis. The direction of the normals must all be facing forward. Now let's rotate the z-axis to have a tilt. Confirm the changes to exit the add -in. With everything done, we have the final test result. To maintain perfect normals even with the deformation of shape keys, a duplicate of the body is necessary without shape keys and facial bone influence weights to use in the data transfer modifier. And here we conclude our tutorial on editing normals in anime character models in Blender. I hope you found this video useful and inspiring for your own creations. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with other 3D modeling enthusiasts. Feel free to leave your comments with suggestions for future tutorials. Until next time, happy modeling.